Hi everyone, this is Fatima from GodandEnergy.com. Now today what I want to talk about is a topic that has been going on around me and my people that I'm around, my clients, and we're going to talk about forgiveness. Now I know, I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, forgiveness meant, hey, let's say sorry, everyone says sorry, and just forgive and forget. I don't know about you, but that just did not work for me. I mean, how can you forget if there's an injustice? How can you forget if there's been pain that's been caused, right? So we carry around this pain. We carry around this hurt. It's like, oh, I'll never be able to forgive forgive and forget because it's just too painful. Now, as I grew up and I got older and older, and yes, I'm still really young, but in this time that I've been alive, I've learned a new concept about forgiveness and I want to share that with you. Forgiveness to me does not mean that I will ever forget what the other person did. Forgiveness for me doesn't mean that it was okay for them to do what they did to us. You know what I'm saying? But forgiveness for me means I no longer wish to hold on to that negative energy. I no longer want to think about it. It's just too much. So I'm going to choose to let it go. Let it go in my energy field. Let it go in how much I'm worrying and thinking about it. When we don't forgive and we hold a grudge, it's like pouring a glass of rat poison into a cup, looking at that person who did that injustice to you and saying, I will never ever forgive you and then you take the glass of rat poison and you drink it. I know. It's horrible. So I'm going to continue this video on the second part and we're going to talk about different kinds of things on forgiveness and what it is. So click on part two for your free report, Five Secrets to Staying Empowered Even If Your World Is Falling Apart. Go to my website, GodAndEnergy.com. Take care. Have a blessed day.